In this video I'm going to create the player class. But first of all I'm going to create a dictionary called collision underscore types. And it will have a key of ball and a value of one and also a key of brick brick oops and its value will be two and also a bottom its value will be three and a player and its value will be 4. And now I'm going to create the player class. So class player and the player will inherit from pymonk that body. And let's create the constructor so def underscore underscore init underscore underscore and it will take the self and the space and let's call the bodies the super classes constructor so super dot init init underscore underscore and uh, now set the mass, I'm just going to give it 10 and for the moment of inertia I'm going to give it pymang.infinity pymang to infinity. Now let's set the player's position, so self that position and this will be equal to 460 on X and 100 on Y. And now let's create for the player a shape. So shape equals pymonk uh, that segment. For the body I'm going to give it self and the first vertex or the left side of the um, segment will be at minus 50 and 0 and the left side will be at 50 and 0 and the thickness of the or the radius of the segment will be 8 Okay, now set the, the shape's elasticity, so shape.elasticity elasticity and set, it, set its value to 0 0.98 Okay, and let's set the collision type, so shape that collision type will be equal to collision types so this dictionary collision types and the player uh, with the lowercase p okay okay now let's add this to the space so space that add uh, the self which is the body and the shape the self and the shape okay now if I run the 
program. Okay. We we added it to the space. Yes, of course we need to create an object. So player. So save that player here in the game window class. So save that player equals player and it will take as the first argument the space self that space so here in the init method as you see we need to pass the space when we create an object from this player class so let's run it now and yes we have this Paddle or player. So let's create a movement, horizontal movement for it. So I'm going to do is do this in the game window. So def on on key press on key press self dot Oh, not self. First, first, I'm going to ask which one, which key is the is is pressed. So self that symbol equals equals key dot right with capital, and we also need to import this key. So here, when I'm importing the from the pilot that window import FPS display. I'm going to also import the key. So if symbol equals equals key right, then self dot player dot velocity. Self dot player dot velocity will be equal to six hundred on X and zero on Y. And now also do for the left movement. So symbol equals equals key dot left. Then self dot player dot velocity equals negative negative 600 on X and 0 on Y. So let me take a look. Okay, now our puddle is moving, player puddle, but of course we need to, when I release the uh, key, it's st it still continues to move to the direction left or right so I'm going to create here a key release key release and self dot player dot velocity set it back to zero on X and zero on Y and 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 uh, yes we need to oh sorry <laughs> we need to ask um, if here I'm giving it here the self and the symbol and the modifiers so if symbol in key right or key dot left then set back the player's velocity to zero zero now let's test it 
okay now when I when I'm release uh, the key it stops moving and I also going to create a constraint for this um, pedal because of course it continues to move outside the screen so go back to the player class and I'm going to create here a joint joint and this will be the pymunk that groove joint groove joint yeah and it will be a space that static underscore body space static body and give it two points so the first point will be at 100 100 the second point will be at 11 80 and 100 and uh, so we have an point a point b or groove a groove b and also an anchor point of zero zero and, and uh, it looks like I'm something missing here yes uh, after the space the static body we need to give also the self okay so this is the space a static body for the groove joint self which is a body player's body for the second argument the left side of the groove joint the right side of the groove joint and this is the um, let me take a look at documentation here it is in the constraints and groove joint so body A, body B, groove A, groove B and the anchor the last zero zero value is the anchor point and uh, now add this joint also to the space so joint now let me take a look okay now we have this line which represents the player's movement so I can move further than this line only allows me to move like constraint the movement on this horizontal line okay the next thing I'm going to create is probably the ball class in the next video so until then um, thanks for watching and have a nice day